It's green and grey and rhymes with estul. But it's a big one. What do you get yourself when you've already got a domino? Anyway, festival, you've done it again. Beautiful, you get the domino. You get the cord, you get the sustainer, you get a spanner. You even get a vacuum attachment, because this one's going to be special vacuum. You get two of these boxes that say festival on them, so they're definitely worth 300 bucks each for sure. You get this guy. You get everything, right? You get a 12 millimeter cutter, everything. No, not everything, Festool. I'm gonna show you one more time. We need a little hammer for our dominoes. Tuck, tuck, tuck. So what I've got here is some leftover Merbau, and I also have some BB gun pellets. So this one's gonna be a dead lot in Australia. You need a license to buy these. First thing I'm gonna do is get this flat, straight, 90 degrees, which we're gonna do here as a jointer. Please remember, number one priority in my workshop is safety. So you can't be working in these. We'll go to the added that. So what we have here is some leftover spotted gum from the bathroom cabinets job I did. It has cupped a little bit. See that there? This is going to make the cheeks of my hammerhead. And that roundedness is going to give me a nice little rounded shape on the outside. But I do need the inside to be flat. going to be my mallet head here. This is the middle and it's a good time to plunge that domino now before it's this big. And now would also be a really good time to do one in the end for the handle because it's going to be tricky after. That's a long way down, man. You know what helps this a great deal? Pilot hole. Okay. Oh yeah. So this is gonna hold a turd loader shot in there. That's a large amount. That's a high volume. And I got way too much meat either side of the handle there. So what I might do is just run this through the thicknesser a couple of times, get it closer to where I want it. Now spotted gum is a particularly oily hardwood, like teak, looks like teak too. Imagine teak on steroids mate, and you got spotted gum. You just got to basically wash it with some acetone to get rid of the oiliness right before you glue up. Thank <laughs> you. 
fill her up with some shot. It's pretty exciting. It's just me being special. Yeah, right. She's lovely. It's one problem. My handle's too long and I need to cut it. And there's no way I can clamp this in any sort of machine at the moment. I'm going to do it by hand. But I do have a cap to glue onto the end of it. Like Sarah. So it's, it's got to be a really, 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 really clean cut. Wish me luck. And see half my pencil line all the way around that cut, which is pretty good. That's it. You beauty. Yeah. 